The steamer New York was the thousand footer of her day. She was the longest steamer in the Great Lakes when she was built in 1879. In October of 1910, the 430-foot steamer Matafa and her consort, the 376-foot whaleback Alexander Hawley, became legendary heroes for the extraordinary rescue of the crew of the New York. In a horrific Lake Huron gale, the upbound New York became disabled and fell into the trough of the angry seas. She continued to fight for her life as darkness descended. The New York sunk, leaving her crew struggling to survive in two lifeboats. The Matafa, risking it all, began turning into the raging seas. She was thrown heavily over and her cargo of iron ore shifted causing her to nearly capsize. The story of the heroic rescue of 14 men in the New York lifeboats is an extraordinary tale of iron men in steel ships. Now you guys should see it any time yeah, now. We're gonna see some debris. There you are, Dave, 100 feet off it. There's the debris. No doubt it's been more than a hundred years since anybody's been around her. The steamer New York had been missing for more than a hundred years and it became the focus of our search efforts. Deep diving does require mixed gas. This is the first dive on this historic site. The story of the loss of the steamer New York, the amazing rescue of her crew, and the discovery and exploration of this leviathan of the Great Lakes can be seen by contacting David Trotter.